The Homes for Ukraine scheme saw more than 80,000 people across the UK register their interest to host a refugee on the first day it was launched last month. Well, to find out what it's like to have taken in a Ukrainian family, I'm pleased to be joined by Sally Birch, who took in Natalia and Ilona. Sally, why did you, um, hello, why did you decide that you wanted to go the whole hog and take somebody in? Say, take somebody in? I mean, lots of people say, you know, I, I think I'll do it, and then they don't. What, what made you go the whole hog and actually take in two people from Ukraine? Okay, so I think on St. George's Day, Philip, that's a really good question. So St. George kind of embodies uh, English chivalry and doing the right thing. So the weekend the scheme was launched by Michael Gove, I was battling with a pretty horrible bout of COVID and feeling very sorry for myself. But I watched the news on the Sunday evening and it just really struck me that I should try and do something. Now, doing something and thinking of doing something are two separate things. So on the Monday, I determined that I would do something. So I made the decision to reach out and try and hook up with a family in the Ukraine, thinking as a parent that if that was my daughter in that situation, I would hope that like-minded people across the globe would, would do the same thing. Uh, you know, we have a strong tradition in Britain of offering sanctuary to people who genuinely need it. Um, people are entitled to lead free lives and to aim for prosperity. And sadly, the war in Ukraine has robbed people of that ability. And I think it's good that we can try and offer that ability back to them. Um, I live in Bradford, which is the second largest Ukrainian community in the UK. Most people don't know that outside of London, it is the second largest. And we are a city of sanctuaries, so it felt incumbent on me to, to do the right thing. And how did you find the 